Right motorhead, welcome to the video. Harley Davidson, a company known throughout the world for bringing us some of the coolest motorcycles and lifestyle spanning over 100 years. Now Harley have decided to branch out into the adventure bike market with this, the Pan America. So I've been fortunate enough to get my hands on this bike from Fraser's at Wollongong. So I'm going to take it out for a ride and I'll let you know what I think. So over the last few years with the ever tightening of the Euro 5 emissions rules, Harley Davidson needed to make a decision on the engine in the Sportster range if they wanted to continue selling this bike into the European market. So off they went and they came up with this absolute belter of an engine, the 1250 Revolution Max. And that's exactly what you get here in the heart of the Pan American. Now this is also the same engine that you'll find in the new Sportster S, as well as their newly released Nightster, albeit in a 975cc displacement. Now this liquid cooled fuel injected 1250cc V-twin pumps out around 150 horsepower and 127 newton meters of torque. I tell you, this engine is just absolutely sublime. It just has so much power, so smooth, and such linear acceleration right up through the rev range. This is a motorcycle that weighs over 250 kilos in its full running order. And because of its low center of gravity, the handling on this bike is just fantastic. Tipping in the corners, flickable, change of direction is so easy and quick and smooth. There's a two into one exhaust which has such a great sound as well. Harley Davidson have taken the big book of electronics and rider aids and absolutely thrown it at this motorcycle. And I'll cover all those as I take you through each section. So with the suspension there's 47mm upside down forks at the front and a single linkage mounted monoshock at the rear. And included on the Pan America is the full semi-active suspension system. So this bike is constantly reading the road conditions. The bike's speed, lean ankles and brake inputs, so it's constantly working behind the scenes to give you the best and safest ride possible. So the brakes on this bike are Brembo's, with four pot calipers up front on twin discs, and a single pot caliper with a single disc at the rear. Of 
course there's full ABS which can be switched off if you're taking the bike off-road as well as cornering ABS and it also has a linked braking system so when applying the front brake it'll also activate a percentage of the rear brake as well the screen on the bike gave me a reasonable amount of wind protection but the best part it was easily adjustable with one hand and you could do it on the go there's a 6.8 inch TFT dash that's easy to read and gives you all the information you need and of course you can pair it up with your phone via Bluetooth so you also get five ride modes on the Pan America with comfort, balanced, sport, off-road soft and off-road firm now when I picked up this bike it was in sport mode and of course it was a little jerky with the throttle but once I got used to it, admittedly, I never took it out of sport mode. Maybe I'm just a selfish hooligan, but I was having way too much fun. Now this bike also comes with a hell of a long list of features. I hope I don't leave any out. It comes with spoked wheels, tubeless tyres, centre stand and skid plate, crash bars, or brush bars as Harley Davidson called them. Daymaker adaptive headlights, steering dampener, hand guards or bark busters as we call them, heated grips, cruise control, heel hold control, anti wheelie control, tire pressure monitors, and a USB charging port. I like the look of the Pan America. I know the bike copped its fair share of criticism when it was first released, but I thought it was a bold choice from Harley Davidson. To me that square look does give it that real adventure bike feel. The riding position is perfect, it's very upright, very neutral. I really don't think you'd have any problems taking this thing on long trips. Now I know some of the purists say, well it's not a Harley Davidson. Okay, it's not what Harley Davidson has been known for. But these guys have thought outside the box. It's their first step into the adventure bike market. The engine on this is where this bike to me really shines. That 1250 Revolution Max engine is just a pearl of a Harley Davidson. Coupled with that, the electronics, the ergonomics and how comfortable this bike is, suspension, brakes, this thing has been engineered to within an inch of its life. This bike is well, well worth it. Now I know price-wise this thing is in the upper price range and you might say, would you really take a bike this expensive off-road? Possibly you would. Possibly you just head down a gravel track to go camping. But as a road bike, this thing is really, really worth it. It is an absolutely fantastic bike. They have shown me, and I think they've shown a lot of people more than what we all thought Harley Davidson is. So if you're looking for something a little different with the Harley Davidson badge, then definitely consider Pan America. It's definitely worth considering having a closer look at this motorcycle, getting on one, and taking it for a test ride. So Motorheads, that was just my thoughts on the Pan America from Harley Davidson. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to hear your thoughts on the Pan America. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment down below. Thank you again to Fraser Motorcycles in Wollongong for allowing me to take the bike out and film this review. All informational links will be in the description down below. So motorheads on that side of things, thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.